Hey YouTube folks, this is Editing Lucy realizing that she deleted the entire intro to her video earlier, so... Yikes. With that embarrassment aside, I just wanted to introduce the video to you guys. Today we are doing a complete run through of my 7 inch record collection. I can't wait to show it to you. My little collection is getting much bigger than little. You'll see, it's not all my fault. Introduction aside, I'm so pumped to get into this video, so let's do it. so much for joining us for this video if this is your first time on the channel first welcome so glad that you're here please oh, I'm having such a hard time today please don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my future content all right guys our music history fun fact for this week is that Elvis yes Elvis Presley was low-key a hoarder and by that, I mean that he collected all kinds of memorabilia, but his favorite were badges. He collected a police badge from almost every city and town that he performed in. And if you think about Elvis, that's gotta be one big collection. I'm glad that I don't have to keep all that stuff in my basement. <laughs> now that we've got the music history fun fact out of the way, let's go look at those 45. Now comes the thing that we've all been waiting for, going through my 45 inch records 45 inches so it'd be some fat records <laughs> actually that'd be awesome now let's get in the video we've all signed up for looking at my seven inch singles let me get the box real quick i do want to say quickly before we start i'm going to be going through these really really quickly because i have quite a few and if you see something that you think is really cool or that you want more information on, then go ahead and leave a comment down below in the comment section so that I know to make a video on it in the future. Before we get started, I want to apologize beforehand for my speed and tenacity. I am taking these records by storm, if you will, because there are so many and this could be an intimidating job. I appreciate you if you stick around. Let's get into it. I think I have a problem. <laughs> So many. <laughs> All right, y'all, for this part of the video where I'm showing you the records, I thought I'd bring you a little bit closer in. So, welcome. This is my face. These are my 45s. I do want to say for these first couple records, they were gifted to me. Really, someone was just liquidating their collection. I took them because I didn't want them to get thrown away. And there's some good ones in here, some that I really like. To speed through these records, I'm only going to say the A-side and the artist so that you get the idea of what they are, but I don't have to, you know, tell you every single song because we'd be here for a year. Let me just jump in. So. Sophia from the music of Lee Lamar on this really cool era record label that looks like Space Age. He Will Come Back to Me by Alice Leslie. Kiss in Your Eyes by Edie Gourmet. Anything by Nat Wright on Paramount. The Two of Us by George Hamilton IV also on Paramount. Love My Lady by Ed Helms. No, Bobby Helms. Ed Helms is the actor. Oh Lord. Don't judge me for not having this in a cover. It didn't come with one, so I put it in a sleeve anyway. No, actually, you can judge me. That's just so funny. <laughs> Little by Little by Tony Arden. Candy Kisses by George Morgan. Honky Tonk Song by Mel Tillis. I'll Kiss the Past Goodbye by Carl Smith. No Love But Your Love by Johnny Mathis. I Wish I Knew by Sylvia Sims and Percy Faith and His Orchestra. It's So Easy to Forget by The Four Lads. Wild Blooded Woman by Dick Lorre. Rosie Lee by The Mellow Tones on G. Fabulous Sounds of the Pacific Northwest, and no, it's not on Arista Records. I just put it in that cover. Terry, You're Asking Too Much on Cameo by Ray Vernon. Honey Bee by Art Mooney and his orchestra on MGM Records. Again by the Gaylords on Mercury. Flat Tire by the Dell Vikings, also on Mercury. Next we have Sugary by Hank Ballard and the Midnighters on King. Doodle Doodle Doo by Shake Hogan and Billy B. Sure on Roulette Records. And then this one is a tribute to Tommy Dorsey and it's actually a three record set. So if 345s are in this little packet and there's a huge write-up on the back about Tommy Dorsey and his legacy. If you are out and about and you find this, I definitely recommend picking it up. Oom Paw Paw by the Travis Trio on Warner Brothers Pink Label. Lucy D by Jim Pike on Warner Brothers Pink. 
Do What You Did by Thurston Harris on Aladdin, Strange World by Jean and Eunice also on Aladdin, Passing Time by The Cookies on Atlantic, What Shall I Do by Ed Townsend, and last but not least, Unfaithful Diane by Don Deal. Those are all the records that I inherited, so let's put those away. Yikes. Okay, well that's fine. I am ashamed to admit that I collect Disney records, but I do. So maybe just skip past this section if you don't like Disney. It's not that long. So first is Substitutiary Locomotion. Say that 10 times fast. From the movie Bedknobs and Broomsticks. Songs from the Enchanted Tiki Room. And if you haven't seen my first video, which I will link up in the corner above, I did a tag where one of the questions I answered was something that was special to my family and I chose the 12 inch vinyl version with a booklet. And if you wanna hear the explanation to why, go ahead and head over to that video. Spin and Marty, Triple R song songs part one and two, Mary Poppins, A Spoonful of Sugar, Polly Waddle Doodle and Alouetta by Three Little Pigs, I'm No Fool by Jimmy Cricket, and the Litterbug song is on the B side. See, I didn't, that wasn't that bad. There's like five of them. I just wanna stop in the middle and say, this is a lot of records. I'm sorry that I put you through this. Now, this is my, one of my most treasured 45s. It is on Arista Records and it is the Ghostbusters theme song, both the lyrical version and the instrumental. And I cherish this with everything that I am. If you love Ghostbusters as much as I do, give this video a like. Next is these two 45s, which have kind of a funny story. So let me explain that to you. Both of them are actually promotional records that I inherited from my great grandfather who worked in a Chevrolet dealership in the 50s and 60s. These are promotional records put out by Chevrolet dealerships to give to customers who just bought cars. The first one is A-Side Camaro by The Circle and B-Side SS396 by Paul Revere and the Raiders. Basically songs about cars and on the bottom here it says created exclusively for Chevrolet dealers by Columbia Special Products. The second one is a Christmas record that on the back says season's best from your Chevrolet dealer and she looks all decked out and ready for Christmas. All right, let me take a sip of my coffee. Nice. Now we're onto the records that I myself have chosen. Let's just say most of them are from the 80s. Starting it off strong is I Get Lost Sometimes and Hunter of the Night by Mr. Mister. Big Love and You and I Part 1 by Fleetwood Mac. Next is The City of New Orleans and Alice's Rock and Roll Restaurant on American Pie Records by Arlo Guthrie. Next is Bad Boy and Surrender to Paradise by The Miami Sound Machine. Can't Help Falling in Love and Broken Arrow by Corey Hart. Shoot. Then we have The Honey Thief by Hipsway, The Lucky One and Breaking Out by Laura Branigan, The Living Daylights as performed by AHA, The Vision and The Lady in Red by Krista Berg, All Night Dancing and Funky Town on Casablanca, Let's Go and The World in Which We Live by Wang Chung, bet you never thought you'd heard that name again, Lethal Weapon from the motion picture Lethal Weapon, that hair and situation, oh my gosh. Sounds of the world famous Flying Scotsman, Train, and yes, my grandpa did ride me to buy this record and save it for him. Always on my mind and When the Party's Over by Willie Nelson. Prince's Sign of the Times. I adore this record. I love everything by Prince. I Just Died in Your Arms by Cutting Crew. Waterfall by Wendy and Lisa. Jane's Getting Serious and The Animal by John Astley. Walk Away and Fatal Attraction by The City. Mary's Prayer and Monkey's Shiny Day by Danny Wilson. The Finer Things by Steve Winwood. What You See Is What You Get by Miss Tina Turner. Conversations with a Dog and We'll Be Together by Sting. Crying and Genesis by Don McLean. Solitaire and Gloria by Laura Branigan. And Gloria is her big hit, so. Paul Revere by Beastie Boys. Higher Love by Steve Winwood. Don't Dream It's Over by Crowded House. Pump It Up and Lean On Me by Bill Withers on Warner Brothers. How Can You Mend a Broken Heart and Massachusetts by the Bee Gees on Atco. And two of my absolute favorites, Iggy Pop, Real Wild Child, and Oh Yeah by Yellow. This particular record is really fun. The A side is the version that was in Ferris Bueller's Day Off. And the B side is the radio version. 
that concludes our tour through my mind, folks. You've watched me grow so much older in this video. I'm just withering away at this point, and I'm not gonna lie, I had to refilm this entire segment because when I watched it back the first time, it was extremely blurry, and you have no idea how angry I was, and then I stubbed my toe, so it's really been a day for me. Let's go to Lucy for the outro. Holy moly, that's a lot of records. I didn't know how many seven inches I had. I legitimately thought I had like 10. Like I said at the beginning of this video, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below so that you don't miss any future videos from me. I owe you one if you watched all the way till the end of this video. Let me know which your favorite record was. Like I said, the Ghostbuster record is really my, I don't know, maybe Sting. Oh, and Yellow. Okay, so there's a lot of choices. Thanks so much for hitting the subscribe button and ending to, and ending to the watch of this video? Ending to the watch. Thank you so much for hitting that subscribe button and for watching to the end of this video. I'll see you guys next week.